So, okay, in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to um, control the RGB LED strip uh, during or with touch designer. And um, I was playing around with Resolume 5 for a couple of days. It's a really cool. I need to upgrade my, uh, my Arena version of 4. Um, big, big thumbs up to the Resolume guys in uh, Den Haag um, for making Resolume 5. So, now, Resolume 5 has this really cool uh, feature of, of controlling DMX um, features um, so a picture is it, it, it can be a moving head it can be an RGB LED you know a, a, a bulb that, that you know an RGB moving head th object that you know controls three colors and moves from left to right from button to you know it has so many options so um, now what I have is I've got this this device. This is the only thing what I have is this Intake DMX Pro device. Really cool. I've got it here. Um, I've got it all hooked up. Uh, if you want to see how I did it, you can look up in my past tutorials. Um, I've got a, a, an input of 24 volts. Um, this voltage is controlled by my DMX controller. Depending on the value of my DMX it sends a certain voltage to my LED strip and that gives a certain color. So I've got a, a three channel DMX controller. It means that every channel can be controlled by 24 volts. So for instance, if you want to have white light, then red, green and blue has to have 24 volts. That's basically the whole idea. Okay, um, so I've got this device hooked up. Um, I've got this into my USB um, laptop and I'm going to head over to the other side. So in Resolume, what you can do now is in here, I've got a, a, a solid, I'm going to clear that. I'm going to drag my test movie inside and what you have here is just a normal blue, green and red um, stripe of colors going from the, the top to the bottom. So now what this option has in Resolume, it, 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 it looks up the RGB color of a certain point and converts it to a DMX um, value and then sends that you know, to your uh, fixture or to your USB controller. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look up into my preferences in my DMX and then you'll see that I've got a, a default thing inside but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add something new. So I'm going to add a new output from Resolume to my USB Pro 1. So this is um, a device that is installed. This is the one that I showed you or you can see that in the right bottom of my um, screen. I'm going to select that. So that's good. So this item is selected. And now you can see already that this, this, this strip is already, you know, controlling. So, and what happens now, if I go to my output advanced, you can see now that this device is being triggered by the color of my video. Now, if I would go to my Lumiverse, if I, if I would select my picture, and if I would go to my settings, then you see here I've got just one, one picture. Now, maybe you mean by yourself, like, okay, Ian, what are you talking about one picture? Okay, let me remove the whole bunch, like this. So nothing happens now. Now you know, as a VJ, that multiple slices can be used on a single screen. Now, in Resolume, you can also have multiple fixtures on the Lumiverse. So if I would select a, a fixture, I would automatically a Lumiverse. And what is a Lumiverse in this case, or a fixture, is just a bulb that can just send red, green and blue. So by putting this to the right, you'll see nothing. Putting this into the screen, you'll see blue, green, and red. Now this is just one bulb, this is just one fixture. 
Um, if I would go into my select modus, and if you would have addressable RGB wall washers, you could have multiple parameters. So for instance, I could have three fixtures, both having the red, green, and blue value, or something else. For me, it's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's, for me, it's new too. So in this case, I can have three fixtures going from blue to green and to red. And this is addressable from the right side here. So you could say, I would like to have one fixture starting from red, green, and blue. The second one is four, five, six. And the third one is seven, eight, nine. So we have, you will have in a wall washer, a LED wall washer, you know, having three bulbs, three, three fixtures, each of three um, color um, um, channels. So that will be together, three minus three will be nine channels. So this is a way to control or to, to output um, the color of your video in a live performance environment if you want, if you have a good, you know, a good relationship with your lightman. Well, I don't, but, well, some people do. Okay, but what, what, what happens now is I would like to control the video um, through touch designer um, in Resolume to control the fixtures. So what we can do now is we can use OVC. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this and I'm going to head over to the preferences of Resolume and inside OSC you have the option OSC input. Now you have to select that one and I'm going to select or I'm going to look up and see that we have a port of 7000 so we have to keep that in mind. We have to select the OSC input so that's good. Now going into touch designer we can then say I would like to have a chop, OSC, OSC out because I'm going to set my value. I'm going to use a constant. I'm going to hook this up, and my DM or my OSC out is going to be port seven thousand. Now, if I would change my constant nothing will happen. So I need to address the path in touch what the Resolume is using. So for instance, if I would go into my mapping and if I would go to my application, edit application OSC map, and you see here that I've got my transfer bar. If I click on it with my left mouse, you will see that I've got an OSC input path. So I'm going to select that. I'm not going to use the first slash. Don't do that because it, otherwise it will not work. So select that, go to touch. I'm going to divide the screen a little bit more so you can see the difference. And from Resolume, like that. So I'm going to go into my constant. I'm going to select channel one. I'm going to paste that, that part of what I selected in Resolume. And keep in mind that, that you have to remove the first slash like that. Now what happens if you just now, if you just, just pick up the value or if you pick up the slider of your constant, you will see now that nothing happens. Now this is one of the biggest mistakes I made because you're still in edit mode of Resolume. Now go out of Resolume edit mode by going to mapping, stop mapping, 
and then you see now if I just increase this uh, window in touch design you see that I've got active clip slash video slash position slash values now this is the path for my transport bar so if I would click on my mapping edit application OC map if I click on it then you will see that this has the same so in this case the OC output has the same value as the OC input active clip video position values so going back and you can see now that you can control if you just go outside of the edit mode of your OSC that you can now control your RGB LED strip so okay I made a couple of mistakes I'm not going to do this tutorial again I'm kind of tired um, I hope you learned a little bit of this and I hope you gained um, satisfaction I hope you have a really good time looking at this I hope you had a little or oh, I hope you have more ideas that you can share with us and uh, okay see you in the future see ya